Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Castle Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. But right now, we got to talk about Mantatsu dominance, Japanese expertise, and Mantatsu's influence propels Feng Shan towards or forwards in ways previously thought impossible. But for all intents and purposes, most meaningful control has passed from the hands of the Assembly to Japan. The Grand Marshal, for better or for worse, stands alone before Mantatsu's overwhelming power in the country. It would be up to him to determine the path forward. If there even is one to be found, even as the legitimacy of the government collapses around him, these are dire times because now the Concordia Association has 50% influence which is a lot uh we could sell unshun iron and steel i did it this last time and i don't i feel like we sh might want to do it this time but we get to show a steelworks company which i mean it's not bad but i don't want to give them any more they're already at 50 percent unshun iron and steel is not as good but still oh and we're making some division so i also took out tibet took out my clique took out uh the other group up here too whose name i cannot remember at all right now um so yeah we're doing okay uh, send you four divisions right there, maybe. Yeah. Uh, send two of them over here, actually. There you go. Because we're going to Vietnam, just because this is the world as it is now, 1942. Co prosperity sphere, co prosperity sphere, co prosperity sphere, as Japan is trying to fight the Japanese, or no. That'd be weird. They're fighting the Russians. So, or the Entente. Oh. Ah. And I guess the Third International did win. Um, what is wrong over here? What the heck? Commune of France. Why do you still own... That is disgust... What? Canada? What? Um... This is quite ugly. I'm not gonna lie. This is quite ugly. Uh, you know what? Since we're here... Oh, I can't even use the state structure tool mod. God dang it, that sucks. Poland looks incredibly ugly. Why? Oh, the AI. Why? Why do we have... Uh, sure. Whatever helps lower the Concord Association influence. The Danubian Federation still exists. But they've been a little bit banished to Sukavia. Oh my goodness. The Italian Federation is trying to fight the... Uh, not the Antana, I guess. Third International. <clears throat> well, okay then. Okay. And the is still here, which... I got so lucky that Germany... died. Huh. So uh, we're doing the goal, goal, coal gasification right now. But we still have some more stuff to do. So I, there was a comment saying that I should wait to do the question of the presidency last. So we'll try to do that. No, never know what Japan might be up to, but we'll try to wait for that one. So, as I bought some investments, sounds like fun. Uh, Shao Tai Tactics. We also have Expand the Shenyang Aerodome. Um, I thought it doesn't give us that many benefits right now. I can't mind this one either. Diversify armament production. I want to do that one, so let's get into the military factory. The Shenyang Arsenal has always been a massive but totally centralized operation, with one single plant and sub-factories in the Shenyang area, accounting for the entirety of Northeast armament production. Eventually, size becomes a burden. We must consider diversifying our equipment and manufacturing process to include components built at separate plants or even by private companies. Because right now, uh, the CSA won. Yeah. Um, not sure what else to say about that. The CSA did win. This is going to be a very, 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 very red world. But Mexico and the CSA, and then pretty much all of Europe has already won. A simple fact is trying to hold out against the Cairo fact, which it seems like they're probably going to lose. I could be very wrong about that, but you never know. But getting having all this extra time is really helpful just so that we can build ourselves up more. Uh, we can take the Orate Horde, which is the Entente, so we're not going to do that. Or attack the League of Eight East Chinese Provinces, which is in the Coast Prosperity Spheres, which, which we're not going to do that yet. If anything, um, it's probably just best to wipe. I mean, I want to core more stuff, even though, ooh, it's not a lot of manpower, is it? No, it's not. I don't want to core more stuff. The Royal Reclamation. We did become the Republic of China, which basically did nothing for us. It just gave us a new name. Japanese interest in their favor of these people. 53% is quite a bit, because right now we've lost how many civvies? 43 civvies. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We are such, so strong. We're done with our land auction, too. Um, that's not bad. <clears throat> cool. Overall, not too shabby. Uh, get some more logistics, maybe, because he can. Those are useful. Oh, AOG's gone. All right. And there was a common thing that actually plays the legation city sometime. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Dominion of Canada, huh? Wait, who are you? Lord Louis Mountbatten, huh? So who are you fighting? Oh, the PSA is still here. Good luck, CC Young. Huh, <laughs> good luck. Cool. So to diversify armament production, develop the Dadong Artillery complex? That wouldn't be bad either. Mm, not sure how much of a navy we're really going to use. We could try. Reorganize the coastal defense forces. Because the Feng Shan Navy has no realistic way of opposing the larger, newer navy fielded by the Qing Imperial Authority, or even Japan, its main purpose is coastal defense, in light of recent troubling inadequacies. 
such as one ship's crew selling their armaments on the black market. Extensive reorganization and reform is necessary. Oh boy. Can't wait to fight those guys too, right? Can't wait. Mm, at this point, we'll probably need to just make some coastal defense. Because these guys should be able to do okay. I I'm glad that... Actually, let's take a look here. Between these two... Is it this war? No. Uh, Communard Hawaiian War? No. Communications Creek? Yes. Oh, here we go. The Entente. Wow. Wow. The Russians have killed up a lot of Japanese. Holy crap. That's kind of impressive, not gonna lie. Hirohito. Eh, they're doing okay. You guys will have a probably big army by the time we fi actually fight you, yeah. Which sucks. Well, because I just want to hold against them, so that's why we're making... Uh, six divisions. I get eight. Oh, we must accord something. Look at that. No? We got one manpower, though. The national legitimacy. It does kind of hurt, though. Yeah, that's not good. Huh. That's really, 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 really not good. I meant to influence so bad. What do we have here? Po Priest conference? Who died? Oh, Dutch. Who cares? Especially when we play China. Iran is looking pretty good, though. Greece is looking pretty good as well. Holy cow. Socialist Republic of Illyria. It's a very, very red world. Kingdom of Lithuania. Cairo Pact. Yeah. Hmm. And then... Yeah, we'll do this one last. We'll definitely do that one last. There is stuff there. It's not bad. Uh, what do we have here? Extraction? Do we need that? Uh, we might be able to use it for rubber, maybe? Maybe? Also, we will have 40 combat divisions, too. So, actually, do that. Since we're waiting here anyways. Oh, we do have a light tech division. There's only 20 combat, but hey, I'd rather have it than not. How much, how much do we actually have here? It's not bad. 42, grab some of that, get some better guns. Oh, then again, now we will we run out. Of, we will run out of vampire down here too. Actually, all of you guys, yeah, I've already converted these to forty combo with, <clears throat> because we're gonna need them. <sighs> all right, so you guys should also become forty combo with. We're gonna need some real good amount of strength here. Give them a little bit of time to get some more guys in, stuff like that. Um, regular river boat patrols, uh, coastal forts from the Marine Corps. Commission Japanese ships wouldn't be too bad either. Mm. Fighters? Get bonus political power. So they bought some investments? I guess. I don't just don't want too much influence over us, which has already happened, but still. Still. Spend the Shenyang Aerodome. One of China's first military aviation centers, the Shenyang Aerodome requires expansion in line with increasing air power. Alright, so we're going to need some other type of divisions here just to help hold the coasts, or at least a little bit. Like that. That's what I'm thinking, because that's... Oh, well, I guess we have more coasts down here, too. Oh, yeah, we have that... Oh. Yeah, we're going to need a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of divisions to hold, help hold out. That's not good. Oh, I'll take you, though. Go ahead, if you need to train, train. I know you guys train as well, because a lot of these guys... Mm, this should be good. And now we're out of artillery. Zane, yes, yes. Goes by five, that's fine. You get more planes, more medium tanks, stuff like that would be good. Uh, keep making more cities, I guess, for now. Of course, we could always expel the Japanese officers as well, but still. We can build the Chongchong Dalai Line. Yes, we could. Nice. Get in there. Get, definitely get in there. Oh, the bar two coming. I thought the other group won. Oh well. Engineers. More entrenchment if you need to. Octavian Republic. Ah, oh, well, France. Why? Why, Canada? Why? The Civil War in Spain is still going on. It is 1942, guys. Just say one of you guys wins, and then that's over. And actually, they're at what percentage here? Halil? 46, that's, that's actually getting better. Um, it's still like 42 cities taken away. 41, Jesus Christ. Oh, that sucks. 
Reverse engineering efforts. Request aircraft blueprints. It's not a bad idea. Honestly, to help lower the Concordia Association's influence, we might do that one. More fighters. Um, yeah, it's probably good to do that one. Zaibatsu investments. By opening up our armaments industry to the Zaibatsu, we're inevitably inviting increased Japanese influence into Manchuria. However, they can provide more money than we could ever afford to spend, and their manufacturing processes are far more sophisticated than our own. Nice. Hey, another tank. Great. Train until you basically die. Uh, any upgrade Zhang? No. Cool. 12% party popularity. Isn't that great? 46%. Wow. Recovery League. Oh, boy. I could do, I could do the Qinghai Province, but how many people live there? 1.1 million. Eh, I think it's best to wait. I don't want to get the 90 million one yet, which would be really good. I think we'll go with... Which one? This one? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Oh, the one next door? Four million? No, I'd have to do the Yu Hai. Yeah, do the Guangdong one. Guangdong is much better to do for immediate manpower benefits. It sucks. I mean, we could send volunteers too, but we don't really need to. I'd rather just kind of watch the world burn. Oh, Tito's here. Oh, Social Democrat. That is interesting. Ah, it's over here. SDSH victory. Empower the minority, huh? Wow, 33% more political power? Holy crap. That's a lot. Let's see, you can close out of that one. Eh, war propaganda would be actually really nice to get, but... Oh, there goes Albania. Goodbye, Albania. Goodbye. Who's here? Ah, Abdul Mased. All right. <clears throat> Mohammed V. Oh, Giro Carlos Spain seems like they're doing pretty well. Javier is doing pretty nicely. Miguel looks pretty smoky. And then there's these guys. <laughs> oh, look at that. Is it the Entente? Yeah, it is. Nice. They're actually fighting, trying to kill each other off. That's good. Good. Kill each other off. Here, trade until you die. Quite literally. Oh, uh. Yeah, you don't need to do that, guys. <clears throat> We're doing well here, doing well here. Blight tanks are okay, fighters, planes, and ooh, we have some anti-air as well, that's nice. We could definitely use that anti-air. I apologize for taking so long, it's just the game lags so hard. If you know Kaiser Redux, Kaiser Rock, the, the game lags so hard. Like late game. It's it's annoying. It's so annoying. Zinc leak? Yes. Prince Henry, huh? Who's in you? William Peak. And linked economy, huh? Oh, they're totalists. That's cool. Einischkeit erect. Telman Peak. Oh, wait. Is this? Oh, this is the... Oh. Th that is the... Rotemolgen tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness, my voice. Oh, boy. Um, this is the Rotemolgen tree for... Uh, Kaiser Redux. Because I remember looking at this, I'm like, why do we have Goebbels here? Because Goebbels is daddy. Nice. Jimmy Reborn. I've played as him before. It's a lot of fun. Tons and tons and tons and tons of fun. I wish they went down with him, but whatever. Red Guards. What should I do when he plays this? I should play this again sometime. Supreme Chairman. Cool. Positive Heroism. You need to be Totalist. Uh, SMP MPT. Okay. Brutalist architecture. Five year plans of People's Republic. Nice. Feng Zhan Hai. Cool. So, how's Japan doing? A lot of divisions. Running out of manpower for now. Not bad. Get some more fuel. Uh, get some more civvies too if we can. Hmm. 80% is pretty decent. Pretty darn decent. <clears throat> oh, man, Tensive Influence is falling, which is nice. Only 40 factories now. Holy crap, that's so much. 
So annoying. I'm going to deal with this. Like the Japanese and them doing what they're doing to us. I'm going to do this one second last. <clears throat> Alright, so... I do want the more dockyards, but do we really have any ships we can really build? Improved light ships? No, not really. The investment required to make some really good ships is kind of high. I think we might just go with subs, maybe? We'll get some naval bombers. Get some subs. That should be good enough. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Collaborative equipment design. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Wow, this sucks. Or commission Japanese ships. Nine point strategy. Collaborative equipment design. By partnering with the Japanese manufacturers to create a streamlined design suited to the unique Chinese environment, we can produce superior weapons at lower cost. This may make us rely on the expensive Japanese built machinery, but in the long run, we'll have the tools we need to pacify all of China. Give and take. There you go. This is what we wanted. It's going to take a while. We're going to lose more political power, which sucks. But within a little more than two months, we'll have quite a bit more manpower and hopefully industry as well. Because over here, well, they got five factories total, so. And it's just a colony state. Yeah, just a colony state, which sucks. Keep going on them coasts. Especially Zhang Zhang Oh, they're doing okay. Well, never mind. They lost the port. Oh, did they lose the port? No. But they cut off. You ding dongs. How much manpower do the Ottomans have left? Ooh, Greece got invaded. <clears throat> now is the Entente gonna fight the Third International? Because Russia's probably gonna lose. Hmm. Hmm. All right, whatever. Cool. Collaborative equipment design. Um. So for this one, we don't need the Japanese influence yet. Going completely. This one, we don't need Japanese influence either. But this one, we need to have Japanese influence, so which kind of sucks. We need the nine point strategy over here. So we'll probably go here, here, to here. Because for this one. We don't need Japanese influence. We'll do all the ones that we need Japanese influence, and then we'll go basically tear it up. Little bombers, yes. Anything else here? A little bit of rubber needed. Makes sense. Um, maybe sixty percent. That's fine. Forty-six. My God. So much. Oh, look at the, is the Russians down here too? You know what? Help them out. Help them out. As my voice starts, continues to crack. Point one two isn't that great. Anyway, so after this one, let's do regular river boat patrols. Naval XP would be really nice, but getting a docker would be nicer. If it's only, even if it's only one. Yingkuo is the northeast region's second largest port after a Japanese called Dariem, and the home of our navy. If we were to begin any meaningful naval reconstruction project, expansion of the Yingkuo naval yard is an essential first step. Actually, we do this one. We don't get any political power. Dang it. And they're at, oh my gosh, 48% again. Uh, I'd like to lower it, like, fall of Bangkok. Oh, yeah. If you guys could take out these, these guys, that'd be great. I don't want to fight the Entente. Actually, can we still, you know what? What if we help out down here? Can we help out down here? Yeah, we can. Screw it. You know what? Screw it. You're coming to Carlos, Spain. Go, just let time go on. How many planes can we send? 114? I don't think we have enough planes for ourselves. Oh, let me get a, it could be wrong. There you go. Well, we'll get involved. I'll do it anyways. We need more cores anyways. Who cares? We'll core it eventually in the end. Let alone, Tom. What is that? Oh, those Czechoslovakia, huh? Ensure Austrian decline. Bro, like, th that's the least of your worries right now, man. Why are you so hung up on just trying to butcher the Austrians? I get I get why, but, like, you got some bigger problems to deal with. You are literally completely surrounded by red, son. Doing an AJ Boon has definitely looked better before, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, let's, yeah, we can do this one. Yeah, this one's going to be important to do. You can do more naval base, which is nice, but not that, ex no, needed, but whatever. 
Anyone else here going to be a field marshal? No? Mm, everyone's politically connected, and I don't like that, so we're not going to take that. that. Uh, let's go here. And the Reds seem like they're doing pretty well-ish. Low echelon support, nice. Keep going with their stuff for now. Cool. Anything else we can throw in these armor divisions? Uh, Anti-air? You know what? We can probably do that now. I would like to throw some medium tanks on there eventually, but we'll see. Can they pierce us? Yes. But that's not us. There you go. Nice. Just hang out. Hang out. Don't don't go back, please. <clears throat> Improved oil. Nice. Uh, get some more extraction too. The like, getting all the time does help like enemies like get stronger too, but like it makes us stronger. So then when they do like go crazy and attack us, we should do okay. -ish. Nice. You to hold. It's fine. Nice. All right, and then we'll do the nine points of strategy. The severe asymmetry in the strength between the Feng Shan and Qing navies means that in the absence of Japanese support, our entire co coast will be at risk of invasion. Japanese strategists have outlined nine positions in which naval landings are most likely and directed plans for their defense. Nice. The CER tax dispute. The loving of seemingly arbitrary taxes to fill the gap, or gaps in the budget, genuine or not, uh, has been a long-standing practice to have national, regional, and local governments across China, including our own. This time, Interior Minister Yuan is pressuring the director of the Chinese Eastern Railway and Economic Minister Li Xiaogang to levy additional taxes on the railway for the purpose of further strengthening the army, threatening an investigation of communications clique's assets, as well as various fees the board already charges its customers, the revenue from which almost certainly sticks to the number of fingers. That there is every likelihood that, as Yuan is a member of the CR board himself, this is a power play on his part to weaken his rivals, but such a tax would undoubtedly help fulfill the national treasury, if at the cost of undercutting competition to Mansetsu. It seems likely that the Grand Marshal will be forced to settle this dispute, lest it spiral out of control. Levy the tax? Oh, that's not bad. Concordia Association does go up, though, which I don't like. But I don't want to go up straight up. There's another 55. Jesus Christ. Uh, we don't have the PP for it, though. Consumer goods would be very nice to have, though. Uh, they go up by three or two percent. Well, I can't spend that political power. I can't. I just can't. I can't deal with it. No tax for now. We just cannot deal with it. Nice. Investigate regardless. Oh, see the decision to prevent his tax. Rail tax proposal, Mr. Yuan Jin Kai has gone ahead with his threat uh, to intervene, uh, intensely investigate the other members of the CER board, as well as communication speak at large. Already, police forces have begun to converge, and unless the Grand Marshal intercedes soon, there's an increasing risk that the investigation could uncover, uncover large secrets that best kept from the public eye. Of course, if this investigation is stopped, Yuan will most certainly be resigned as the position as Minister of the Interior. Yeah, yeah no thanks, man. One v one, you should be able to win, though. Johnny subs will be the best subs. Hopefully. Can they pierce us? No, they cannot. Which is good. Um, yeah. Just for now, like, just all. If you make divisions, you make them all go here. These guys are only twenty combo with, but you know, whatever. We're not close to the limit yet, which is good to see, too. Nice. There you go. Nice. There you go. Body yours. There you go. Very good. Good job, guys. Let's come down to here and do the same thing. Bing bong. Yay! At least we're in conflict now. Actually doing stuff. Are we getting more air XP? So, somewhat. Somewhat. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, we're actually losing political power because of Montessor influence. God dang it. Yeah, I've got to keep 59%. So much, oh my gosh. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Dang it. They got in there. It's fine. Help them out. They're only militia. There you go. Cool. Let him attack us. And he's becoming a panzer leader too, which is nice. Mountaineer, hills fighter, organizer, cavalry leader, and then a panzer leader. Beautiful. Nice. Keep going, keep going. We should be able to crush these guys and then crush these guys. You know, I don't want to fight up here because there's a lot of hills and mountains. And that kind of sucks. I apologize that we're not really doing too much yet in terms of like actually doing stuff for China. I just thought we gotta get to those, these focuses. It just takes so long to do. Hey, take the capital. Well, the current capital. Another tank division? Nice. Don't know what to do with it, but nice. Cool, and these guys have been cut off? Awesome. I don't know why I'm helping this. Oh! I don't know why I'm helping this group out, but there's like, there's nothing else to do in China, so. And we don't want the Reds to win, because we want the Antons to do well. Generals grow restless. Worried by their diminishing influence on the assembly and throughout the government, powerful members among the Zane clique have begun voicing their discontent, claiming that they, they so desired. The entire assembly could be dissolved in minutes. Uh, by forces of arms. These statements have been reinforced by a slow but steady increase in the capital's garrison, which would almost certainly overwhelmingly side with the Patriot Gar General in the event of any political people worrying. Oh, crap. Come on, guys. Come on. I get it. I get it. You just gotta wait. For the love of God, you just gotta wait. That's all part of the master plan. And then commission Japanese ships. There can be no doubt that our own shipbuilding capabilities pale compared to those of the Imperial Japanese Navy. They'll never give us the ships necessary to build a truly modern fleet. But they might still set up to make a difference against other Chinese and any other future threats. Well, we'll see. You know what? I wanna, I wanna hold. Don't attack yet. Don't attack yet. You guys can help out there, though. As long as they can't pierce us, they do have air superiority, apparently. What are you guys doing over here? We're on the other side, you ding dongs. Don't want to force the attack, of course. Sail on Sean? No, it's not worth it. Yeah, and doing this will be good to do is too. So then we may hopefully buy some ships. I mean, if it costs a lot of power, then obviously we can't. But whatever. Also, I mean, it's good to give give them. T wow, that's really pink. Uh, good to give them t some time. So the Russians. Yeah, huh? Can I really? Yep, appoint them. Just so that the Russians can continue killing off a lot of. Japanese soldiers. Because we can really use that. Iran? Go to. We need fuel. We gotta get fuel, so. It's fine. In here? Nope. It's good. Nice. Go, let them attack us. Let them attack us. Let's attack them next, too. Cool. Nine point strategy. Good, good, good. Get these guys some experience. Since you're not doing anything anyways. Things might as well come over here too. Might as well, right? Coming organizers, good, 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 good. Also we need more fuel still. Oh, you guys stop doing what you're doing. Go home. Got enough naval XP for now. The Navy consumes nothing. The air consumes a little bit. Current fuel. Daily gain 1.1 thousand. Now we should get more fuel. Quite a bit more, actually. Hmm. Would it be possible for us to come over here, actually, and do this? Cut these guys off? Because they... We took the port. They do have a supply point there, but still. Come on, hurry up. We have a pretty good processor, too, but... Oh, Croatia. The Pope. Is this the Pope? He's just not giving up. Stability war support. Any defensive core territory? The White Guard's not bad. Uh, max entrenchment plus 10% is not bad. Um, marine to Marine, Motorize, Culture of Chivalry. The Alpini are pretty good for them as well. Um, not too much there. Huh. 
It's alright though. Can you actually win there? There's a good chance that they can improve subs, getting some better subs after that too. Nice. And we'll do that one's good. N no, get in there. You guys go here. You might be able to win there. Or you can just go right here too. Either one doesn't matter. Actually, this would be pretty good to take out too. Nice. And then we'll do Commission Japanese Warships. And then we'll do Reform the Marine Corps. We can do that one later on. Um, you can do this one too. Uh, enormous advances in aircraft design in recent years have produced planes that fly completely differently than their predecessors, requiring re-evaluations of flight maneuvering and tactics. <clears throat> the Japanese have reorganized the air squadrons into three-plane shaltai units, which are designed around the flexibility necessary for dogfighting. This could give us, of course, an important edge. Zhu Lin plans to step back. President Zhang Zhu Lin has announced his plan to step back from his position as President of the Republic, making way for Zun Zhu Liang, a promising young man with a Western education, albeit also troubling if not uncommon relationship with opium. Zhu Lin will stay on as Grand Marshal, cementing his control over the military, and many are already seeing this move as a way for Zhang to draw attention away from his past banditry and military service. Treats considered unbecoming of a national political leader while retaining a de facto monopoly on power. Long live the Grand Marshal, because I've done quite a few focuses off screen. We're doing the question of the presidency, but... We did the Japanese uh, warships, of course, which we have spent political power, but oh well. Also did request uh, Japanese airframes. While we have a strong air force in comparison to most warlords, the air force still lacks beyond the Qing Imperial authority of air force size and modernity. As there's well supplied from modern German aircraft, we need to, will we need to leverage, leverage a relationship to Japan in order to be able to have a chance against them? Nice. Uh, it is 44, of course, now, which is quite a big time. The Shikan clique protests. A group of officers within the Feng Shun army, educated at the Japanese academies, has quietly but forcefully protested Zhang Zulian's decision to hand the presidency to his son, citing Zhang Zulian's addiction to opium, as well-known years of carousing, carousing in Shanghai's casinos and pleasure play palaces. Yang Yuting, the de facto face of the Shikan group, called the move dangerous and divisive. This is likely an attempt by Yang to jockey for additional power within the Feng Shion clique as a whole, but more concerningly, he may also be speaking for the Kwantung army, which is noted to distress Zhu Liang due to his anti-Japanese leanings, ineffectual ditherings. I also did request aircraft blueprints just because I did, I'm pretty sure I chose a reverse engineering last time. And true aircraft design requires well-educated and extremely specialized engineers, which we sadly don't have access to. As a result, in order to improve our air force, we must order more from Japan. Also, I did send volunteers to the Ottoman Empire because I got bored. I'm like, eh, I wanted to go to war with someone else. So we sent a bunch of tanks in the infantry division over there, so... Uh, that's why we're out of light tanks. Other than that, we're doing okay. And I did make sure we researched some modern sub holes, which... Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We do 53 political power. Uh, the Concordia Association is at 47%. I want to core one place else. Also, Canada's doing pretty well. Also, apparently Transamir popped out. Like, the Japanese peaced out with them, but then they went back to war immediately. Go figure. So... This group is not looking great. But you will get Zhang back. There we go. You are looking okay too down here, Zhang. Um, doing okay, doing okay. That's where the tanks are supposed to go. You guys are looking okay. I'm the, we're pretty much good to go at this point, so. I don't know why the Japanese are suffering doing so poorly, but you know what? Sometimes you don't want to question things. So we did the question of the presidency. Ambush in Shenyang. In the middle of a busy Shenyang street, Zhang Zulin's custom built armor plated car suddenly came under fire. As a small bomb exploded under its wheels, the vehicle was thrown violently upwards and careened into a nearby tailor's shop. A shootout immediately began as ambushes on both sides of the street began to open fire on the car's surviving occupants, and by the time reinforcements arrived almost 15 minutes later, its owner had suffered various burns and injuries by both shrapnel bullets. Zhang Zulin's not life now hangs in the balance. He cannot be saved. He must live. Ooh. Uh, towards Japan. Yang Yuting is in leader. Ah, uh, goo, this way. We get a research slot. That's when you get a research slot as well. We have submitted to dynastic rule. Interesting. Well, for this one, I'm not really sure what this one does. Because this one, go down to the right side of the main tree and has Zhang try to put his son in charge and trigger Yao Yu Ting's coup. Oh. Go down to the right side of the main tree and have Zhang put his son in charge. Um, He must live. I want him to live. Oh, Zhang's already here. I don't think it really... Does it matter? He must live. He cannot be saved. I'll go with he must live. We'll see what happens with that one. I want to wait for this one. 
the Xiao Daiji incident. It seems that the attack on Xiao De Main Street was carried out by the behest by none other than Yang Yuting, leader of the Shikan clique. After his agent's simultaneous plans were foiled across the country, Yang retreated to a safe house outside Shenyang. Rumeri may have intended to flee or fight back, but ultimately it didn't matter. Once it became known that Yang had taken up residence, the structure which leveled by heavy artillery at Zhang's own direction, a body which may or not have been Yang's was pulled from the wreckage, its head decapitated and placed on a spike. From there, the Shikan clique was subsequently dismantled, taken apart man by man in a relentless but pragmatic campaign of revenge. Some journals were allowed to serve on, on under close watch, but even slight suspicion of involvement in the Zhao Dai incident was a death sentence. The Feng Shen army's cohesion has taken a great blow as consequence, but to such treachery there could be no other answer. Such as justice? Hmm, let's even get the other Now, the Zhao Dai Daiji incident. Again, Zhang Zulin was suddenly and unexpectedly struck down by assassins on Shenyang Zhao Dai Main Street only a matter of hours ago. It was his leadership that served to underpin the entirety of the Feng Shen clique and his government and now the power vacuum left in his wake threatens to swallow the entirety of the Northeast, and probably all of China at this point. Soon every soldier and officer, every contact and associate of the old marshal must question his loyalties and pick a side, if there are even to be sides at all. As now, uh, two loose factions seem to set to emerge, a collection of loyalists and nationalists beneath Zhang Zuliang's banner, facing a number of Japanese-educated officers and opportunists, aligned with Yang Yuting, who most certainly has had some role to play in Zulin's assassination. Whoever strikes a decisive blow first will be entitled to Zhang Zulin's legacy. Zhu Liang rallies his father's loyalist, who dies and becomes leader, which is weird. Yang Yuting receives unexpected support. So, like the path guide says, uh, go to the right side, have Zhang try to put his son in charge, which we did. Trigger the coup, so Yuting's coup, and then you'll get events about monarchist sympathies rising. So, hello. So we went with the Yang Yuting, I think. Oh, well. Yuting takes over. Travelers attempted to enter Shenyang this evening were shocked to witness troops of Kwantung army rush out of the darkness and under the roads, hurriedly deploying searchlights, sandbags, and machine guns all along the city's main thoroughfares. Soon their opposition arrived, battalions of Feng Shui army troops from Fuxin, Liaoying, and Jinmen, called there by Zhang Zuliang's plea for reinforcements. As these troops attempted to negotiate their way to the city, Yang Yuting's forces seized key positions across Shenyang in a matter of hours by dawn, and the Japanese troops refusing to budge. Young Marshal's resistance had been crushed, and Japan announced its intent to safeguard regional security by deploying additional troops in the area. Unable to break the deadlock, and now threatened by crack Japanese divisions, loyalist units around the city peeled away and broke apart. Mirroring others across the country's Japanese troops soon swept across the region. The Feng Shui government is, for all intents and purposes, dead. With Yang Yuting at the helm, it's become just another Japanese puppet, meaning that its allies have broken away and its political support has collapsed. The way forward is unclear. So now we're the reformed government of China, led by Yang Yuting, who, oh boy... Oh, we actually joined their faction. Oh, look at that. Japan says naval advisors. I'm not joining their war, though. God, no. As part of the naval development program sponsored by the Japanese Empire, a group of advisors came from Japan to aid us with their naval program. They're highly knowledgeable in many aspects, so it's up to us to, use, to direct them to where we like them the most. Ships? Naval doctrine? Practical experience? Uh, let's go with ships. So, actually, interesting. Grand Marshal's Proclamation. The Grand Marshal won a Grand Proclamation to the illegitimacy of the Qing Imperial Authority and his Western support and declared the end of an era of reconstruction and retrenchment. The new era, guided by ideals set forward by the revolution, will be one of reconquest and glory. We get political power. Uh, get the old alliance alive. Only complete this decision when prepared to begin the Reclamation War within a year. Hey, I'll see what happens. I don't get the extra political power, so. Oh, Copa Spirit Spirit. Withdraw from the military alliance. We no longer have any need of the military alliance. With the Empire of Japan, let's end it now. Uh... Despite the death of Grand Marshal Zhang Zulin, some of his legacy yet remains. Various civilian authorities across the region have either ignored or refused to order to recognize a new administration, and some still loyal to his cause, have reportedly been coalescing in Harbin, perhaps to make at least a last stand. For the time being, our resources will be more limited than we might prefer, and we should focus our efforts on returning control and good government to Manchuria. The last remnants of Zhang's government must be swept away. Non-compliance, huh? Join the Rickin Research Group. Sure. Request naval advisors. Reform ask for naval advisors. Withdraw from economic sphere. Despite the benefits it offers us, our membership in the Japanese economic sphere raises concerns regarding our independence. We should withdraw from cooperation with the Japanese immediately. Prosperity ships. Remove that, huh? The commission stuff. So, we could coerce the Chamber of Commerce. Based in Shenyang and its many partner organizations across Manchuria, lie at the heart of Northeastern commodities. Trade and have the power to... Uh, hold on. God dang it, come on. So much lag. Uh, to collectively dictate terms to all but the most of power figures. With the recent shift in government, they're hoping for a new arrangement for more favorable th to themselves. Crush your guard. Some of Zhang Zulin's su surviving subordinates, loyal to the end, have rallied in Habin, a strategically key location at the center of the trans maturian Railway Network. There they will make their stand that they will destroy them. What if we don't do anything? 
Because it says that we will get uh, Monica's Sympathies Rising. And eventually, Coup. So what happens if we don't do that? I mean, we'll give it some time first, maybe. We do have quite a bit of PP now, which is kind of nice. Okay, we get 1.26, which is really good. Thank God we actually went this way for now, just to get rid of some of Mantis' influence, which they still have a lot, but still. Minus 10% sucks, but still, whatever. Principled Executive, Party Popularity. Oh, that does help out, yeah. Holy crap, that helps out so much. We're still not going in, though. Oh, crap, we got rid of Zhang, which... Oh, we should have been training someone else, whatever. Honestly, I don't like anyone here. I really don't. I don't like that you're politically connected. Well... Tang. Wow, you... You're, I've never had a general be zero for planning. What the heck? Holy crap. <laughs> so let's go as far as we can. I want to see what happens if we don't crush the old guard. Oh, look at this. These guys are dying, huh? Nice. We could integrate this group to Guangxi. Guangxi. Or we could wait, maybe. Sichuan. Chongqing would be really nice to do. I want to see these guys just kill each other off. Oh, we don't have the... Oh, we don't have the command power now. Well, if you have to use Khan's commands for it, whatever. So be it, whatever. I don't really care. And... Should have it within one more day, so... And then, we're going to go ahead and save. And see what happens. If things go well, great. If they don't, then oh well. Oh, hello. Oh, it's auto-saving. Cool. Do that anyways. Cool. And let's, what happens if we don't do that? Attacks on the South Manchuria Railway? I want to see what the event is like. Oh, Russia's here. Left to their own device for over two weeks, the loyalists in, uh, in Abin launched a series of coordinated attacks along the South Manchurian Railway. Fortunately, some of our commanders acted on their own initiative. And with help from the Japanese Railway's own guards, we were able to limit damage and push an outnumbered enemy back into the city. Wow. What followed was a brutal street by street fight across the city, one which the loyalists had obviously prepared for. And our casualties mounted quickly and finally acted of defiance. The enemy detonated explosives inside several factories, but day by daybreak, silence ruled the city. Broken only by occasional gunshots, marking in the execution of survivors, our bin is ours once again. Oh, okay. Monarchism. Oh, look at this. Rising within the Concordia Association. In the turmoil since Yang Yu Ting's coup, all sorts of political stability has gone out the window, and much of Feng Shan has been thrown into chaos among this chaos. Many fresh political ideologues and beliefs or ideologies have begun to sprout once more, none more prevalent than the desire for the return of the dynastic monarchical rule, most commonly seen within the wings of the Concordia Association. These Manchurian monarchists believe that only through the stabilizing force of a monarchy based along the old dynastic system can truly manage to really a beast, unruly beast that is China, seeing the old Qing as nothing more than a decaying, de corrupt dynasty that is solely the Manchu name, these dynasts, dynasts, dynasists, instead desire a new face to sit on the dragon throne, who shall, who, though, who that shall be is so highly debated within the camp. Before that can even be decided, these monarchist zealots must search for seize power, and to do that, they must convince the rest of the Concordia Association that this is the only way to save the Fengshu government. We want to write to the Republican government with the Xenai Revolution. Dynastic rule will only is only natural for the people of China. And we need to reform the Marine Corps, of course. Our Marine Corps was created in 1914 called the Republic of China Marine Corps, but this attempt went nowhere. We will revive China Marine Corps along modern lines, enabling us to better operate in river riverine environments like the Huanghe and Yangtze. Given the right opportunity, we may even be able to cross the Bohai Strait, or sea, and make Wu Pafu's old strategy your own. I've been waiting to do this one, I don't want to do it, but at this point, we might as well do it. Integrate occupied arsenals. The Xinjiang arsenal is unquestionably the greatest in China, but by integrating and specializing newly seized arsenals, now as part of a national supply system, we may be able to ease the burden on Xinjiang and improve its overall logistic, logistical capabilities. And I'm going to integrate these places, so I'll just do it the Sichuan. Screw it. Pub Republican elements outrage. The Concordia Association's de uh, decision to fully drift towards ideas of monarchism and dynastic rule. Many very Republican elements within the Feng Shuang government have begun to decry this act of satirity and return to outdated and archaic traditions. Ones they claim will hamstring China for an eternity, while the Republican movement will would be a so claimed ticket to modern utopia. We laugh at these false hopes and naive dreams. Only we know that China requires a strong regal hand to keep its unruly masses in safe and check and safe, both from foreign enemies and themselves. Let them howl into the wind, and we have a destiny to fulfill. Wow, that sucks. Who shall take our throne? Now that the Concordia Association has brought up the righteous uh, ideals of monarchism back to the Fengshan government, now comes a Herculean task to choose who shall be the monarch we rally around as we endeavor to retake Beijing and place our chosen candidate on the Dragon Throne. For this decision, two main camps have formed within the Concordia Association. The nativist camp seeks to restore a candidate of true Chinese blood, not of the uh, Qing dynasty, to a position of emperor, casting off the disgrace that has been Puyi and the Qing in Beijing, and redeeming the idea of the Chinese monarchy in the eyes of the people since the tyranny and madness of the Hongjian Emperor Yuan Shikai. Alternatively, the Japanophiles seek to place a member of the 
Japanese imperial family on the throne, drawn the Fengshan government and eventually all of China even closer into the Japanese sphere of influence. However, the dark horse of the factions, mainly composed of collaborations, seeks to revive the Qing under ASEAN Goryeo Jianyu, better known as the Yoshiko, Yoshiko Kawashima, a Manchu noble woman said to have had great sympathy with her cause. However, whichever faction wins shall seek out to reclaim the mandate of heaven from Puyi and the false warlords of the Middle Kingdom until we, the Manchu, and our Japanese allies are the true masters of China. Japanese candidate? Chinese candidate? Crown Kawashima and declare the restoration of the Qing. That seems kind of crazy. I kind of want to go with just so... so what is this? Of course. Um, I just want to crown the Chinese candidate. I didn't want to be part of the Japanese sphere at all, so... My apologies if you want to go with the Japanese. I don't want to go with the Japanese. We're going to go with Chinese. What's the plain, point of playing in China? I don't want to be a Ch Japanese lapdog. We've been doing that for long enough. Secure the northern frontier. The northern frontier of Heilongjiang is notoriously... Uh, uh, notorious from its windswept mountains and the thick forests of pine truly one in China's last frontiers. We must ensure that our authorities felt even here. The birth of the Dragon Throne. With the decision of the Concordia Association. Zhu Yu Yan, the Maquis of Extended Grace and the true heir to the Ming Dynasty, has been crowned as Emperor of China. A truly ethnic Chinese, Chinese man by blood, he was seen as a safe choice by many within the Congress, who felt that a Japanese national sitting on the Dragon Throne would cause far more chaos and order, the exact opposite of the intent of this plan to unify China. With the coronation underway, the Zhu Yu Yan Zun will take on the name of the first Ming Empire to give honor to the dynasty he is about to resurrect, and China, under the new emperor Hong Wu, shall be the new unifying force of the Fengshan government as we prepare to retake this new emperor's throne in Beijing. The Marquis of Extended Grace finds his throne finally. Oh, cool. A little more stability, a little more political power. We become the Great Ming. Oh, this is really cool. I like this. Nice hat, Hong Wu. He, he, just very nice hat. So now we're still on the co prosperity here, but I still want to core more stuff, so. Core Yunnan, why not? We're still on the Code of Prosperity Fear, which I don't like. Um, towards Japan. Well, we can't do this one. We have to do towards Japan. Wait, we can't do this one. Uh, submitted dynastic rule. Okay. So maybe what we want to do... We'll go through here. Get everything done. And then we'll go to war with the Japanese. I'd like to crush flies and capture pigs. Grand Marshal's Proclamation. Uh, today, the Grand Marshal delivered a rousing speech calling all Northeast to strive to their utmost in pursuit of victory in the upcoming National Reclamation War. 10,000 years to the Republic. Well... Okay, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. One sweet, nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to stay with the Japanese. We'll see what happens. The year of righteous effort. Look at that. More political power, war sport, a factory output, planning. We got. The, we got this really, really flipping late, didn't we? <laughs> ah, it's all right though. Excavation, nice. More fuel. Could use a spot more of this too. Oh, wait. We will only have one... Oh, my gosh. No. No, we should be fine. What do you mean they're all trading goods? That's a little bug, it seems like. Oh, not the Marines. Oh, look at this. Yes. Uh, keep... How much people do we get? 0.76, not bad. We're integrating a lot of provinces, though, which sucks. If that's the case, request naval advisors? Uh... I want to keep coring though. It's probably really costly. Withdraw from the sphere. We'll do that later on. Build the sphere up. Core them. No, I don't feel like it. Build the build the line. Um, if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. Mantetsu. Yeah, I'm going to choose Chinese company. 67%. My goodness. Integrate the occupied areas. And it goes towards Japan because the extra research slot, construction speed, research speed, stuff like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. So, yeah. Not bad. Keep holding out, Canada. Keep holding out. So what are we building up? 15, 13 is not bad. I would prefer a bigger industry, but then Ch Japan just keeps stealing our stuff. So yeah, what we're going to do, we'll go here. We'll get the extra research slot. Um, we'll go down there. Uh, we'll get join the yen block, I guess. Technically, hmm, requires towards Japan. So even if we do this, we should be able to do this still. Well, maybe. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll screw this all up. We have not submitted Dynastic Rule. I think they did. The generals know best before. Oh, no. Oh, we can't do that. Well, it goes to the Philippines. We can't do this one either, so. Oh, we torpedo. Nice. Um. Okay. Oh, there goes Transamir. They're dead. Huh. Nice. Let's go and do this one, too. Towards Japan, I guess. 
Yeah. Uh, the Times going to reach out to our Japanese allies in the name of Pan-Asian cooperation. By lowering barriers to trading and accepting Japanese oversight in certain economic sectors, we can make a mature and prosperous uh, corner of the East, East Asian uh, country. Economy. Yeah. Economy. Economy, my bad. Yeah, I don't know. I still want to beat the Japanese. Like, I wanted the Great Ming and then kill them off as well, so. So as long as we get this one done, that should be okay. So we can't go with paternal guidance. Treaty of cooperation and friendship. We'll lose national legitimacy. If we join the sphere, we can do all this and then just abandon them. Which is probably what we're also going to do, so. Yeah. Centralized provincial control, which we will head down there too. Generals know best. We have not submitted to it, which sucks. We can't do that one. We can't do that one either. Well. To be honest with you, as you can probably tell, I made one heck of a mess of this campaign, haven't I? Oh boy. As long as we keep coring, get more manpower, get more strength, that'd be good for us. Wait, I thought that was Russia. Why does New England own this? What way did New England go? It's Michael Curley. You are smoking a fatty. But, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to core more stuff off screen, probably. Uh, play this a little bit more. Concordia influence is pretty high. Uh, we'll see what happens. We do need to see some people to withdraw from the economic and military alliance so we can go to war with them. So, what are prosperity ships? National legitimacy is pretty bad, though. Oh. Republican resistance. Does that actually expire ever? No, it doesn't. That sucks. Liberty ships. We don't have prosperity ships. Liberty ships. What are they? I think it's prosperity ships. Yeah. All right. That's kind of weird. So after that one, I guess we'll do the Chunqi Zhongjiai. Well, once after that, China and Japan are as close as lips and teeth. And today, further integration can only mean further prosperity. Now, we can ensure that China reaps all the benefits of Japanese manufacturing. Some call us gateway into a captive Chinese market, but we have no need of fear mongering. What the people want is cheap clothing, radios, and cigarettes. And which I don't want to go to free trade. That I hate free trade sometimes. Oh, and there goes the Entente. And then we'll probably do join the Yen Block. Uh, by adopting the Japanese yen as a reserve currency and making it a require for all foreign expenditures, Japan and China can present a united fiscal front of the world. This will finalize the process of integrating our economy with that of Japan and forming. Oh, look at that. Uh, an East Asian economic bloc depend independent from and unspoiled by greedy Western bankers from Washington, Ottawa, and Berlin. I'm not joining your filthy, stupid wars, you piece of garbage. <laughs> and then, since we finished off everything on the left side here, we finished everything on the right side here. They returned to Mingland. Oh, our allies in the League of East Chinese Provinces have returned some of our provinces. That us. Great. So we're going to go through, through these and then crush flies and pigs. Nope. Corruption and abuse of power have run rampant uh, throughout uh, China over the past couple of decades, and all levels of Feng Chen government are complicit in this activity. In order to gain the public trust, some measure of law and order must be first re be restored. And examples will be made of both low-level flies and high-level pigs, who have been gradually gorging themselves on the nation's livelihood. Thanks for the territory, guys. We appreciate it. Look at that manpower. Ooh. Destruction of Wuhan, China's Republican dream. I was born in Wuhan, and today we are its torchbearers. Fortunately, this seems to have been on the minds of our soldiers when entering the city, uh, which survived the fighting relatively unharmed, especially as looting was limited. After fighting their way across the northern China plain, it seems that our troops have begun to acknowledge the benefits of a graceful, po grateful populace. Our army, consisting of, as it does of so many former bandits and vagabonds, may never change completely, but today's relative restraint is a step forward. To add to the good news, our troops have recovered a stock of equipment from the now abandoned Hanyang Arsenal. What a relief! But I think we'll end it here. Tomorrow we'll start the next episode, which will be the last one in the campaign, just because. We're pretty much running out of stuff to do in the focus tree, and let me know, should we abandon the Japanese and beat them up and beat the crap out of them and, and just kill them all off, or should we stay with the Japanese? I'll let you guys decide. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also make our final decision for the fate of the co-prosperity sphere. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.